Special thanks to the International Swimming Hall of Fame for this wonderful honour. We'd like to congratulate all members of the 2014 honour class and also the award winners from last night. The Hall of Fame captures the swimming history over the years and also inspires swimmers of the future. We too were inspired last evening in listening to the stories and the accomplishments and one that really resonated with us was the story by Marnie Young. Marnie spoke of how if you can conceive of something and believe in it, then you can achieve it. And it really made us think about the story of our comeback. We had been five years away from the sport, and uh, it was really just when we were watching a local uh, divisional synchro meet that uh, all of a sudden I had this overwhelming desire to get back in the water and to want to try again to achieve the one thing we had never done, which is to be Olympians and to make it to the Olympics. And so I leaned over to Vicky and I said, what do you think if we tried one more time? <laughs> and after the <laughs> stunned look on her face, I think that whole thing, you know, thought settled in and, and she also had that, that desire which really came up to the surface. So that's how that idea was conceived. And the next very important step, well, this, this competition was actually on April 1st in 1990. And what we wanted to do was shoot for Barcelona in 92. So we immediately, Julie, our coach, uh, Julie Sove was there and we went up to her and said, what do you think if we got back in shape, got back in the water and, and shot for, you know, Barcelona 92. And a split second, right away, she believed in us. And so that was quite an amazing, amazing moment. So I'd like to recognize Julie Sove, our coach, who was fortunately able to be here with us tonight. With her belief and hard work, she definitely was a very, very key uh, element in our success and our career. And um, so being the type of uh, action taker that she is, she says, okay, let's start tomorrow. And uh, so we did start the next day, and, and so that was the first step on us uh, heading towards achieving our Olympic dream. Another story that resonated with us was actually at lunch. Jason uh, Lizak was uh, talking about, achieve, you know, enjoying achieving uh, so much in swimming and as much as uh, he said he enjoyed uh, achieving individual success that he really loved relays and achieving things as a team. And teamwork was a key element uh, for us in our career. Absolutely. In terms of striving for excellence and teamwork, we did learn early that doing whatever you could that was the best for the team would achieve success. And in 1982, we were proud members of the national team for the 1982 World Championships in Guayaquil. And to form a national team with eight swimmers, we had four from the eastern Canada and four from the west. And what you need to know at that time is that for whatever reason, in the east we used to spin to the left. And in the West, they used to spin to the right. So the coaches said to us, you've all got to practice the other way. And well, we were the most ambidextrous, and so forever, forever on, then we had to swoop, spin backwards. But that's what the team needed, and we got the gold medal, and it was a proud moment, and just really an awesome springboard to the rest of our career. Of course, such a proud moment with the Olympics, and uh, just an amazing teamwork with uh, Julie, and others who really brought, she brought the best out in us. And I remember when media used to come and really see us training near, uh, closer to the Olympics, they would say, you guys, you know, you look like you're having so much fun. Aren't you supposed to be working hard? And we said, well, of course, we are working very hard, but we love what we're doing. And so, you know, forgive us if we laugh during our practices, but it's just that spirit of the teamwork. And you know, when we came back from the Olympics, just as the Hall of Fame, inspires future generations. We took it upon ourselves to go to various events and swim for the younger swimmers and hopefully inspire some of them as well. And at one particular show, they had to announce, we're very sorry, 
but the cassette is broken for the Olympic duet. And they were just so disappointed. And we said, hang on, hang on. We have practiced 30,000 hours. We were, you know, so focused on our synchronization. We're not going to let these kids down. And we walked out there and we swam our duet without any music at all. So, <laughs> synchronized from beginning to end. I synchronized will say. from beginning to end. And that's probably perhaps even more inspiring to them than if we had done it with music. <laughs> So on that note, Vicky and I would like to say how truly honored uh, we are to, uh, to be inducted into the uh, International Swimming Hall of Fame. And we'd really like to thank everyone involved, all the organizers, uh, for all the hard work and for organizing such a wonderful event. Thank you so much. <laughs>